Hello friends, welcome to my channel Organetic. In today's video I'm going to show you how to organize your documents. If you like videos about home organization, please subscribe to my channel and let's get started. If it's time to organize all the documents, then start with getting all the files, magazines and mail together in one place. Before you begin to sort everything out, first prepare boxes, baskets, bags and any other containers which you can move all the papers to. You can even label them for easiest navigation. How you categorize the documents may vary from person to person. For example, the following distribution works well for me. The category labeled Destroy includes documents with sensitive information that should be torn or shredded. Everything that needs to be rid of – trash. The best option for this would be a trash bin. The most important documents are usually a passport, social security, ID and other vital documents that you need to take in case of emergency. In the box labeled Organize we should have all the files that we need to categorize and find a permanent place to store. It's important that at the stage of preparation we do not worry about categorizing these files and only prepare them for further handling. Next, make a box with mail that needs to be sent or given to somebody. The kids' box is for certificates, diplomas, perhaps children's drawings and other sentimental stuff that we want to keep. And finally, the category labeled other with all the things that do not belong in documents, yet somehow ended up among them and must be returned to their places. Now that the boxes are prepared and labeled, let's begin sorting out all the files. The process might take a while, but once it's done, it will be easier to keep the documents in order. Again, at this stage we are sorting the documents by these seven main categories only, without going into details. Once the sorting according to boxes is done, we begin with the easiest part getting rid of the boxes labeled trash and destroy. Also quickly put away everything that's in the box named other. It usually takes a few minutes, but it feels lighter seeing that almost half of the boxes have been taken care of. Sort the papers from the box mailed by recipients and prepare for mailing. The most important documents and papers are best kept in one place. Usually it's a passport, a social security, insurance and ID. A small clear bag is usually enough to store them. The main thing is to keep it in a place where you can easily get it and where it won't get lost among other things. If the files are in R4 format, then any folder will do to organize them. Make copies of the most important documents and put them in a separate folder. You can sort all the documents by family members and secure them with paper clips. In the organized box all the documents must be sorted by purpose especially carefully and thoughtfully. Everyone has different categories, but these three groups are usually the most common. One pile is for proof of payments. Usually, according to law, you must keep them for three years, but in order to avoid problems with various companies, order payment reconciliations for them before getting rid of proof, or pay everything online and keep the digital records. The next group is property documents, a valuable group of papers with no expiration date. And I assume everyone has a category with receipts. Since the ink on receipts often tends to fade and become unreadable, Take a picture or scan them. That way you will avoid unpleasant situations when the warranty has not expired yet, but the receipt is already unusable. And now it's time for the most interesting part, where I will be showing you different ways to store documents. These bags with safe code are great if you don't have a lot of documents or if you just want to keep the most important files in it. It's a textile bag which is more durable than plastic. It has a combination lock, so if you want you can set a passcode to open it. Here is how it looks on the inside. There are four pocket insertions inside the cover. 
We have four people in my family and it's perfect to keep the documents in the compartments separately by each family member. Next is multiple card slots. Here you can keep all the rarely used cards, for example, airline cards that are only needed during a flight. Mesh slots can hold useful flash drives with important information. The next section is good for copies of all the important documents that I previously mentioned. In this compartment you can organize real estate documents, for example, and in this one warranties and receipts. In addition to pockets, this bag also has room for other papers. The easiest way is to organize documents in folders by categories that you can label any way you want. The best way is probably by using a labeling machine. That's how compactly and nicely my documents are stored in one place. A bag like this is easy to grab when necessary. You may place it horizontally or vertically on a shelf. If there are a lot of documents, sort them in these bags by family members or by type. This idea for document storage is especially handy. Here in the drawer the manufacturer provided a frame for a hanging file storage system. The necessary documents are kept in the folders and can be instantly found by labels. The advantage of this type of storage is that the files are sorted into groups, will not get mixed up and they are easily retrieved. You can even put ordinary notebooks between the folders without hanging them. It's convenient to keep our four format files in these accordion folders. This model has 13 pockets, 12 out of which can be labeled. The set includes stickers with the names of the months, plus a few blank stickers to write whatever you want on them. These folders help storing files by categories organized and with easy access. Thanks to labels, finding what you need won't be difficult. It's handy to take this folder with you, which have already helped me out more than once when I was standing at a window in the DMV or somewhere like that and they asked for an additional document. This folder also can be stored either vertically or horizontally and can be labeled if necessary. Next handy dandy organizer is a wooden letter tray. It doesn't need to be wooden, of course. I have come across these durable metal tray options. But the essence of this tray is same. They can organize documents in tiers and categories. It's impossible to find anything without turning everything over if there is a chaos on a shelf. But this letter tray helps putting everything in order. Binders are a classic solution for storing documents. They are great for classifying and arranging files in a certain order. Another bonus is that they can store files of all sizes. You can find binders in any color you need to fit with your interior. Identical binders with labels like visual noise making any cabinet look good. They have big capacity and do not require any additional helpers other than a hole punch. And you can keep files in ordinary folders here as well. Slim drawers are another way to keep documents. It is best to use organizers for easier navigation. A wall file holder will help with sorting all the incoming documents, avoiding a mix-up with already organized files. The tiers can be categorized the same way as the boxes in the very beginning of this video, except spam and other unnecessary papers, which are better to be rid of right away. If you like this video, please show it to me by hitting the like button. Please subscribe to my channel if you are new. See you next week. Bye-bye!